Hi guys, I am back with uh, some updates. I finally managed to uh, rework my engine in some stage when it is uh, it can be presented for public and I'm really excited about it. I've done a huge uh, job of improv improvements and rewriting stuff and I hope you will enjoy this video. I've made a small like visual overview. I was thinking about creating a new structure for my engine because previous version was basically one huge class handling every other classes with no smart usage of the objects. Anyway, the most important part is uh, my engine class that basically in the main function is being initialized and uh, also it starts the initialization of other objects as for example window manager that should like handle the uh, your window manager right like for windows and linux um, also it creates in gui uh, object also it creates of course a huge vulcan class that handles all the vulcan, vulcan backend and inside of the Vulkan class, it's it's creating the like device re, uh, instance, renderer, bindless descriptors. Yep, also one of the features I finally implement is by bindless uh, design in for Vulkan uh, resource handling, meshes and pipeline also. And then afterwards in scene, you uploading all the objects that you want to handle. Now I am still hard coding them because I didn't get to this and for now I can render uh, two uh, pipelines, let's say, uh, one for the textures because I wanted just to be sure that I'm actually like writing something that can show me something and also simple um, pipeline without any attachments, uh, only color attachment and uh, which will uh, be my future uh, intro for my engine when it's being lo loaded for now it's just I, I will show it's just like nothing nothing s serious okay I guess that now I will also show you how it looks nothing like uh, big for now but it's still super nice to see that it works and uh, I hope you will enjoy <laughs> okay so this is how my engine starts I uh, uh, investigated funny uh, fun with shaders regarding uh, bitmap text uh, uh, and, and I enjoyed it and I believe that my intro will contain this like um, this functionality and uh, I, I really like it but here like in the um, in the uh, Imgui window you can see that I have like my scenes predefined and you can select and just check that everything works and you can like return back and uh, yeah that's that's all what my engine can do now but it uh, actually uh, it actually took a lot of time to make work and to investigate all this and i'm super 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 uh, happy with the results and i am looking forward for my next uh, investigations and uh, uh, like uh, 3d improvements okay so on the left on the left side you see my current version like new one and on the right side i left uh, my previous code just to show comparison because i'm really not like proud but i i i really like how i improved since i was writing the first the first implementation and um, yeah so basically i start the main function by the initialization of engine here the singleton object is being implicitly initialized i am i have an inheritance from a singleton class uh, which i'm defining like this and inside it i am creating an instance uh, so like it is static instance and uh, uh, so it's when it, when i'm calling get instance first time it's being uh, created 
and uh, so yeah um, first of all I am setting the stage of the for the initialization just just in case because I can uh, after that I am in in I'm creating a Linux window uh, for Windows it's not implemented yet uh, because it's work in progress and uh, that's I'm not sure if we want to go deeper in this code because it's XCB object creation I just left as it was only improved some uh, namings and stuff so afterwards I am calling uh, Vulkan initialization, Imgui initialization and the scene uh, which handles the resources let's just briefly go through the uh, how like this is my first old implementation and after I was initializing the uh, objects I was also creating Vulkan and just look at this one class handles all the creation it was terrible everything is just here it's absolutely annoying absolutely uh, you don't work you don't want to work with that code here I have like my uh, Vulkan instance I am getting there and I have like separate classes for I, I guess from my understanding um, good uh, structure just <laughs> I have a, like fine structure for the other objects of Vulkan also now for a uh, device uh, object I can simply handle all the necessary uh, stuff for, for, for it and it's just amazing because for example when I am creating a texture uh, I can just uh, include a VK device header um, and simply call my device object get the, its instance and retrieve the device and I'm I can be sure that during whole pro program this uh, logical device won't change which was impossible in my <laughs> previous implementation because if we will check it out uh, all the time for my like classes which was for example for renderer for texture for descriptor I needed to pass the uh, for example device handler class that uh, was responsible for handling logical physical device and stuff um, yeah uh, absolutely not not a goal also really interesting is happening in the descriptor uh, related stuff because uh, I was able to handle bindless um, and I was following the tutorial that I guess like what what I found it was one of the most covering tutorials and uh, I, I just followed this and I have implemented it for uniform storage and sampler uh, descriptors types Yes, yeah, so after I initialize the descriptors and all this stuff, I can init my scene objects. As I said, they are hard coded now. And it's also really in in exciting thing for me because I was able to create a maybe stupid, but it's a wrapper for my uh, dynamic rendering pipeline and uh, to set up. Uh, what amount of attachments will be for example here I am defining only color attachment and here we are uh, awaiting that uh, uh, my pipeline will receive uh, color and depth attachment and it actually <laughs> works also I can uh, predefine bindless type so for example for my intro shader intro it needs no data so uh, it will just uh, skip the buffer updatings and uh, just uh, uh, simply draw the uh, rectangle <laughs> and uh, yep so in load resources it's just also it will be optimized it will be like improved it's only for uh, in in, uh, in case of tests uh, I'm getting the material the texture the mesh um, and pushing to the render key which I'm returning and writing for the scenes uh, map when we are going to the render scene I have like all the um, Vulkan related stuff hidden inside my renderer and I believe that I will uh, probably improve this part too because I think it's 
too uh, explicit and would be nice if I will just call some renderer uh, render fun function which will take the current uh, render key uh, or scene information and process it inside of it. So for example in start frame I am uh, uh, I am calling him GUI renderer I am syncing and I am starting a command buffer. I am also getting rendering info and it's also really nice because now I can just uh, from my scene in, uh, information I can just uh, realize how many attachments I will have, uh, which image it will contain and uh, I can get the and I can get the um, resulting rendering info for dynamic rendering in Vulkan. I'm also having such like a memory barrier uh, functionality, which allows me to uh, to make memory barrier uh, convenient. Uh, and I have no validation errors. It is the best in this. So yeah, and I'm beginning rendering. So afterwards, I am checking if the scene have uh, has a camera buffer. If it has, I am uh, mapping the camera data information for to my buffer. And afterwards, I'm going to render the object instances that I have. I'm checking if what is bindless type, and of course, if it has, for example, texture, which uh, like I mean, it's telling you that this uh, pipeline will uh, wait for the um, camera buffer and uh, texture sampler, right? So I am taking the... Oh, before that, I forgot to show you update uh, buffer and texture functions, which returns me the um, uh, where, where they should be bind uh, in my uh, bindless layout. Update buffer and texture is just uh, descriptor set update uh, stuff when you pass uh, writes uh, descriptors and telling where it should be and stuff. So uh, also then I'm receiving the range for my uh, bindless offset and uh, it's just the stuff that I actually like wrote uh, re read in the article. So it was really useful. And after that, I'm building the my 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 uh, this uniform buffer layout. Uh, and uh, afterwards, I'm checking if it is vertex base. Just also a random naming. Uh, it's for simple drawing where I don't have to uh, bind uh, descriptor sets or I indexes. Uh, so and uh, the other draw function includes um, more of the. Uh, Vulcan commands. Okay, I guess that's all for today. And I also have a small announcement. Um, I gave an interview. It's in the Russian language, so I guess it will be more. It might be more interesting for uh, my Russian-speaking viewers. I am leaving a link somewhere here, and in the description. And uh, I hope you enjoyed today's video. Uh, have a great week and see you next time.